Um, and we'll ask Dr. Masumi to present um, outcomes of minimally invasive Ivor Lewis esophageal gastrectomy analysis of 105 cases from UC Irvine. Thoracoscopic and laparoscopic approach to esophagectomy with cervical anastomosis has been described. However, the literature is limited regarding the feasibility and safety of performing a minimally invasive Iver Lewis esophageal gastrectomy with construction of intrathoracic anastomosis. The aim of this study was to review results of 105 patients who underwent minimally invasive Iver Lewis esophageal gastrectomy in our institution. Indications for esophagectomy were esophagus carcinoma in 82 patients, uh, proximal gastric carcinoma in 9 patients, barrett esophagus with high-grade dysplasia in 5 patients, benign disease in 5 patients, and esophageal stromal tumor in 4 patients. In this patient series, stomach was used as a conduit in 104 cases, and color interposition was performed in one case. Mean operative time was 197 minutes, only one case converted to open procedure. Mean ICU stay was four days. Mean hospital stay was 10 days. Anastomotic leak rate was 12.4%. Anastomotic stricture was observed in 26% of patients. Mean number of lymph nodes obtained was 21. 60-day mortality was 3.8%. In one case, surgical margin was microscopically positive, and in mean 21 months follow-up, two patients developed abdominal wall metastasis with distant disease. In conclusion, minimally invasive Iver Lewis esophageal gastrectomy is feasible, safe, with low conversion rate, acceptable morbidity, and low mortality rate. Thank you. <laughs>